The Road to Forever Before Have you heard about the story of the elders and their way of courtship? I'll catch the moon in the stores just for you or I climb the highest mountain just to be with you. This might be cheesy and corny praises but undeniably romantic. The latter truly prove and pursue the so-called true love compared to the present generation. Today's generation is way too different than before. As we can all see, everyone wants to fit in to the trends, especially on the social media. Due to liberalism and influence of Western countries, the Philippines' way of courtship nowadays is slowly going out of the future. If a man says, I will do anything just to prove my love for you, and nowadays most will just muck, papate, or run on forever. The Philippine tradition of courting shows the value of respecting women and their family which adopted from the Spaniards. In the 19th century, women have non-verbal cues or body language refer as a fan language to communicate with their suitors. When a woman is holding a fan using the right hand, she's willing to have a boyfriend. On the other hand, if she uses the left, she's no longer available. When she closes the fan and rush, this means she's not, um, she's doesn't like the men. A curtain woman covering half of her face would like her suitor to follow her. Counting the ribs of the folding fans sent out to the message for the lady who would like to have a conversation with her admirer. If the man wants to ask the lady's hand for marriage, he and his family need to prove and show respect to the woman and her family first. A traditional Filipino is expected to be hard to get. During courtship, despite of the mutual feeling she has towards his suitor because that is the norm. She should act like she's not interested with modesty as Mark Clara. Attitude is often misunderstanding as pababe nowadays. The suitor expected to bring Pasalubong during his visit and master of her family to show sincere intention by chopping firewoods or fetching water from wall which they called paninil behind. They also wrote love letters and sent it with the help of the trusted friends or relative. At night, the suitor will sing a love song outside the girl's house and these friends serving as backups. They will sing and wait for the girl to open the window and invite them inside. When a girl decided to accept his affection, they can start dating on public but always in a company of a chaperon. When the couple is ready to get married, the man's family must ask permission to the girl's parents, knows, um, also known as Pamaman Hikan. In doing so, they will have to bring with them lots of food and presents as well as a jewelry that they should present the girl's parents. This only shows that we give high value to the women in the society and giving them away in the not easy. When people parties agree to the jewelry of the offering, the date will be set for the couple to be bet- betrothed. A small feast would then be held with the food brought by the boy's family. The traditional courtship is not totally forgotten, but it is only remembered by few. Our tradition shows the value of giving self-respect as a woman and showing respect to the woman and her family as a man. If a man truly loves the lady, he must show the great effort to win her heart. And even if she is already his girlfriend or wife, he must still court her every day to show how much he loves her. I hope you like it this. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe and hit the tiny bell for more um, story or the love story. Thank you so much for um, listening and have a great day.